I should have faced this a long ass time ago. But look at this. My lug bolt broke inside of my hub. And I only have three lugs. So I'm gonna try and get this this out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna go through. I'm not showing you guys that I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, but I'm gonna show you that this is the way I'm gonna do it. This is how you break the wheel lugs when it's in the air. That broken lug bolt is not supposed to be there. So we're gonna try taking that out. First I'm gonna take the rotor off and the calipers and then yeah. To get the caliper off, put a 15 wrench on the side right there. And then on the outside, get the 13. Then can you hold that thing? Just take the ratchet with the extension, do that, and then put the caliper anywhere so the brake line doesn't get pinched. And now you can then you're gonna want to take this one off and this one off. These two bolts right here. I'm pretty sure there's 17. It's actually a 19. So you just put it on there. Just loosen that up. Then get the top one right here. And then the caliper bracket. This whole assembly should come right off. It's off. You're going to want a T40 to loosen the rotor bolt. The rotor bolt. T40. This is for an E30. You already know. So you're just gonna wanna, I can't do this with one hand, you're just gonna wanna do it really fast. Push it down really fast. Even while it's spinning, it'll come off. It shouldn't be that tight. So I just held it with my knee and twisted it. And now it's coming off. This is what we're dealing with. And this is the stuck one, it's in here. And you can see that all the other ones have nothing in them because with BMWs they use lug bolts not lug nuts so there's no studs here these you go through the you put the wheels sit it on the on the hub right here and then put these in like this and then you just thread in I don't know why BMW did that but yeah to get this out I think I'm just gonna heat it up and then get that easy out that I was talking about get this and get the torch heated up a lot a lot and then just hammer this in really hard and just twist it so let's see what happens i'm gonna get the torch i'm gonna get it from the other side over there and i'll continue to punch this out now i'm gonna use this drill i'm gonna drill a hole into this and this drill bit is around the same size as the easy out that I'm gonna use. And you want that so that when you push that easy out with the hammer, when you hammer it in, after you torch it, it'll be nice and tight in there. So I'm gonna get to drilling. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this torch. I'm gonna use this big torch. If you have one of these torches, this works too, but I have this one, so I'm gonna use this one. Now just heat it up. So now that the hole's in there, take the hammer. Mm. 
It's not going in. So, just put it back in and hammer. Still not really hand loose. Should be good because it came out perfectly fine. Then if you have a vice grip, use the vice grip. We're just using this for, because we don't have a vice grip right now. Let's take that there. Put it in, put You can see, it's coming out. See that's that's how you take a, a broken bolt out. If this gets loose, just hit it with the hammer again and have it go. But here we're good. You can see how it's loose right there. Two out. So now just to run it back, we had this broken lug bolt, not lug nut, lug bolt stuck inside of here. So first thing you want to do is drill out with a drill and a drill bit a hole inside of the nut or inside of the bolt right there. You can see and once you drill it out, it's going to be really hard if you're doing it on lug nuts. It's going to take a long time because these are really, really strong bolts. But once you do that, you're going to want to take a torch. I use this big torch. If you have one, use that one. But that works perfectly fine. It's just you're going to have to heat it up for a little more. But once you get it all nice and hot, you're going to want to take this, hit it with the hammer really, really hard lots of times. And once this is in, give it a little wiggle if it's solid pour some water on it so that it can like when you heat it it expands the the nut or the bolt it expands it once you cool it down quickly like that it like wraps itself around this so that you can turn it and get it out <laughs> 